in all my years since 1984 of working with natural and man-made disasters, I haven't seen anything like Harvey before. Here is a community which probably no one knew that existed right on the outskirts of Houston and they are living in such misery. Having said that, that is the reality of life here in this community. A lot of people come in and help donate stuff, food, clothes, water, that time. But nobody ever try to build houses because people don't got nowhere to live. Most people, they live under the house in the shed. My grandma family and my grandkid, my nephew, they live in a little shed. It's like, I call it chicken coop. Not only the houses, but the greenhouses were impacted too. Almost 50% of the folks, they survive on farming for their livelihood. When I started working here in the community last year, I met a lot of well-meaning folks, and that's how I first ran into FAN. He asked me where I live, what's my address, and then the next day he was there. And, you know, they went into the house, they didn't know what to do. I mean, the, the damage was so great. This guy from Colorado, you know, he, uh, he didn't know how to help me, but he put his hand into his pocket and he found $80, uh, $40. He gave it to me, and I didn't know that people can care so for others that much that they're willing to give what they have for others. And, I thank him and uh... a couple of months down the line I came across Johnny. He saw me building houses and he asked me if I want to help. I said, yeah, sure, I want to help. He is our uh, project manager for the various projects which go in the community and he has been kind enough to give us this particular space, uh, which is his warehouse. Eklish and see what Snell does that he comes in, he buy material and pass out to house to house. So I go around the house with Pam, check it out who else needs help for what. I run everywhere to get information, uh, get with people, asking them what they need, write down the information and provide to Achilles or Johnny. So we have uh, one more family in the community on Summer Lane, uh, where we have a 76 year old gentleman, 73 year old wife. So the two of them were living in their uh, own rickety house and Harvey took that down. The, the water gone. Water I gone and I come back. My house I flood all. And I, ten, I, ten, ten I come area. stay in the town here. We go to how and how, daytime, nighttime, we just checking up on people, all elderly. Fun come help me at the night time. I wear a lot of coat, uh, jacket, no help. He bring the heat for me by the... So we, we helped uh, uh, that particular family, Mr. and Mrs. Polk, with uh, a tiny home, uh, which uh, is going to last them forever. And, and all this is done, uh, by the way, by the volunteers. My primary role is to make sure that they have all the tools, all the supplies, all the material to finish that work. I got, we got, we go through about two, three thousand volunteers now. I got volunteers from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Kansas City, Omaha, Iowa, everywhere in the United States, you name it, Illinois. We got a kid like 13 to 15 years old build these houses. The one thing about this volunteer, they come to come to work. They don't come here to play and then they don't care where they sleep. They can sleep on the, like this phone right there, put the air mattress and they sleep. All they care about is shower, 
and food. They opened me up to a different perspective, like, you know, let, let live the small negative part and focus on the positive, help the community. Actually, we come every day with, with supply, with clothes, with blanket. I see my first thing, we go to Home Depot, we buy whatever that need to be bought. If, if, if the community need it, if somebody's, if somebody's house need it, actually buy it. Really, to be honest with you, C1 Snatch has been doing a lot of work here. Seva's focus has always been on empowerment. So we don't believe in just simple charity that, you know, come here, do something and go. Ever since we set foot here in this community on 5th of September, we have stayed put. And we made sure that whatever are the needs of the community, they get addressed. But at the same time, the community themselves start participating in some of these activities. Really, when how we had it changed my life a little bit. So because I always thinking about making money to retire. And now, after I see this thing on, I, I, didn't, I don't think about that no more. I just like, think about helping people. Really. In this world, we don't live alone. We live with the community with a lot of people. We got to look out for each other.